for that. Did he tell you how to? The Caldwell Police Department's history and, and mission and vision and values here are deep rooted with a Western tradition and culture in the state of Idaho. We serve a community that's about 80,000 people. We're the fourth largest uh, city in the entire state and the 14th fastest growing city in the United States of America. So that creates a lot of leadership challenges for us because we're policing a community that is growing faster than we can keep up with. So the way we fight crime here in Caldwell is re-legitimizing the police department and leveraging technology to surgically remove the bad actors from our community and hold them accountable by maintaining the best positive relationships with our community and really honing in on precision policing. We provide them with a mission. We provide them with our expectations. We provide them with direction. We let them know what we are going to be doing and why we are going to be doing it. Furthermore, we include our employees in the decisions that we make here in the police department. Number two is value. Every police officer wants to feel valued. So we do that in a, in, in a lot of different ways. When we first came here, one of the things we recognized was the lack of equipment, the lack of training, and the lack of support. We valued that and we wanted to keep them safe. So in the past year, we increased our training budget over 350%. We provided them with new technology and equipment, and it's always at the forefront of our mind to focus on these two things, purpose and value. So the relationship that the city has with the police department is extremely important. Um, you know, we have been growing very fast. I think as everybody's aware, we're one of the fastest growing cities in the country, not only in the state of Idaho. And so with that growth comes, you know, unfortunately more crime with more people. And so it's been a key element to grow our police force. Uh, we've had new administration come in and with new changes and new things like that, bringing in new officers, new administrators, and it's been a wonderful change. And so it's been amazing to see the growth of the city, but especially the growth of the police department and us working together hand in hand. One thing that I noticed when I took over the, the department was, were, was what the core values were and um, really changing and rebranding the image of the police department with our partner agencies and with the community takes a lot of work and it starts with the, the hiring the right people, putting the right people in places and really emphasizing ownership and accountability from the very top level, me all the way down to the line level officer. Uh, but really fostering an environment where people want to come to work, they're happy, they're healthy employees. And I truly believe as, as the Chief of Police that happy employees are productive employees and in our profession, productive employees reduce crime. And we do that by building phenomenal relationships with our community and really owning the problems and being part of the community. It's important that we build a teamwork and a camaraderie together um, so, so that we understand you know, how, how they're going to react on certain situations versus how our department's going to react. Um, so when we uh, go to situations together, you know, we're a force multiplier. Um, nobody uh, pays attention during an emergency what uh, patch you're wearing on your sleeve. They, you know, we're law enforcement uh, in the state of Idaho and, and it's important that we understand how we're going to work together and the Nampa and Caldwell Police Department have a strong partnership and that's really key. I had a vision to serve the community in a manner that's consistent with the community values and part of that is providing police officers on horseback to not only do ceremonies like parades and funerals and the things that we kind of do on horses but really to patrol on horseback to kind of be out there in the community and, and not in a police car with the windows up, to really be able to engage the, the walking community, the, the community that never really has a chance to engage police officers, but also too, to go through underserved communities and underserved areas of our city that maybe there is a rift between the community and the police where children can come out and see horses. And horses are very majestic in the way that they bring humans together and connect humans no matter what. And we build common ground with our community uh, I love the police department here. Um, one thing I love the most is our community. Uh, our community is great. They really support the police. And then uh, we have a lot of training here that the chief and the command staff has really implemented to help us have the most cutting edge tools to be able to do our job. And then finally, the people that we work with, uh, we're all a great team here. We're, we all support each other. And it's great to know that we have our brothers and sisters out there working hard to help serve our community. Having the police come in and, and um, on a regular basis, just uh, being not only customers, but just we feel like friends. So obviously you can see just talking with Pinky and um, we, we know a number of them uh, by first name and having them 
interested in our business and how we're doing, um, the safety of the town. They're, they're, again, the access to them is really unparalleled from what I've seen. The future for the Caldwell Police Department looks extremely bright. We have a extremely supportive council and mayor, a very vibrant community that really trusts its police department to protect and serve, and we're super proud of the men and women that work here that make this place magical.